Hey Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. Thank you for tuning in. Let's see what the messages are. We have a new moon in Leo that happened at 4.14 Pacific Standard Time. So it's a good day and over the next few days to manifest. Write down the things that you want the things that you need, the experiences, that emotional stability. And remember, you know, ask yourself why. It's not just, oh, I need a million dollars. Why? What are you going to do with that? Oh, I want a relationship. Okay, why? Are you ready? Um... I need a new job. Why? What's wrong with the job you have now? What are you changing? What, why are you calling these things in, into your life? The why is very important. One, one, one. Make sure it's for you, for your needs, not what other people have expectations for. How is it going to benefit you? And be very clear about that. So write it down, talk it out, walk and talk. That's my favorite thing. Um, and just listen to yourself. And how does that feel? It's all about our feelings because our thoughts become things. And our feelings are what attracts things to us. So if we're manifesting from a darker space those are the kinds of experiences will come that will come to us you know use the energy of jupiter which is about expansion luck you know giving as you receive you know what you put out you get back so if you're putting out a lot of negative thoughts two 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 Ugh, that's what you're asking the universe for back. So in these next, you know, three days, it's very important to watch your thoughts, watch your mindset. And if you're thinking negative things, this is what you do. You write it down. Whatever negativity. Okay, we have it here. Can you see that? Negativity. Right, and then what you do is you cross that out, and then you write the opposite positivity. It is a habit, it is something that takes time to cultivate. So, you know, be patient with yourself. It's, it's a mind's, mindset shift that takes effort takes practice it's like working out it's like eating right it takes time to get into that habit you know acquired taste okay so just do it like that keep a little notebook with you um i also need to do this more like see this this is a planner okay i used to keep a planner and just write little notes in it now with phones, it's different. So maybe bring this back, okay? And, and just write things down during the day. It's like, ah, I'm feeling this weird thing. I don't like that. I don't want to keep feeling that way. You get to rewrite and write your history. Oh, that's right, because we also have Mercury retrograde happening right now. So this is your chance to redo some things, redo thought patterns. Let it work for you. Okay, all right, so let's see. Messages for Pisces. This new moon, Mercury retrograde. We have a lot of other retrogrades still in effect. So it's not like the energy goes away in one day. So let's see. We have the Ten of Swords, Six of Wands here. There is a peacock energy here. But notice the tail is down. So it's not about flaunting energy right now. 
because there there is energy out here that doesn't like what you're accomplishing and you'll start to see that it, it's trying to distract you like even for me donut she's been showing her face on the videos she's sick right now sniffles lethargic and she's never like that so you know people's negative intention is real okay this is my little evil eye i bought this a long time ago and i didn't realize what i bought you know because i just loved how it looked but then i'm like oh my goodness that's you know protection from this kind of energy so you know really know 555 five, five, that there will be things that come up in your life that are annoyances as people see you starting to progress and do well in your life and be happy some people can't stand that and i i don't understand it myself but they're out there so just really remember that when these inconveniences come up they're temporary for one and they're meant to distract you. So keep your peacock tail down for now. Okay, you know what you're accomplishing. You know, you don't have to tell other people about it. You already know, you feel it, okay? We have the page of swords. Yeah, someone watching. Curious about what you're doing, where you're going, what moves you're making, the chariot. People are talking a lot about you. And these are people that you consider friends. But if there's any tinge of envy or jealousy, those conversations, that thought turns into something dark, something negative. Um, so it's not always intentional, but it's out there. Okay, so keep your energy really positive, really bright, because your positivity doesn't allow that to come towards you, but you're going to have to constantly recalibrate and refocus because you're getting distracted by circumstance. All right, yep, it's, it's energy, it's work that's sent your way to create an imbalance. Remember, you're off, off track, off path. Oh wait, what's going on? Oh, nope, me. Oh wait, oh, me. Oh wait, uh, you know, it's like that. And it's those little degree changes in focus that take us off our path. Anyone who's ever flown, like a plane, you know, capped into boat even in a car but planes and boats it's really subtle movements and you're going in a very different direction you know if you're driving your car and you look to the side your car will start to move over there so it's constant effort to keep you moving forward all right let's see what these are we have the king of cups you know it affects us emotionally and look this um, what is that called again? Pelican? No. Flamingo has a cup balanced on its back and it's balancing on one leg. Okay, that reminds me of, you know, the tree pose in yoga. I, excuse me, I don't remember the, the proper um, Hindu name for it or Sanskrit name for it, but would you be able to balance on one leg and balance a cup? That's about constantly rebalancing emotions. Ace of Swords. What's truth for you? A, a lot of people say a lot of stuff and you're like, wait, that has nothing to do with me. Okay, it's that refocusing. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. So... There's energy within your community that you need to guard against because they're not entirely happy with the direction that you're going, even if they say they are, okay? 
And that's a shame, but it's human nature. It's low vibrational energy. People that are at a lower frequency or are more baby souls. Um, this is a red dragonfly. What's this? Knight of Wands. So fire sign energy, and it makes me think of Aries. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, also known as a baby soul. Okay. In this lifetime, they've probably experienced many lifetimes before, but their memory's been wiped. So they're having to remember, oh wait, I am acting like a immature, emotionally, mentally, action-oriented person. How do I change that? Okay, and remember we had um, Chiron and Aries and an you know eclipse conjunction on April 8th, 11 11. It stirred up a lot. That energy is still present. Everyone on this planet, especially those that lived in that area or were in that area of totality, it's about healing that immaturity, that baby soul mess in us. And remembering who we are at a higher vibrational level and to pull us out of that lower level. Some people are more ready to do it than others. So it's really about focusing on yourself, living how you want to live. Others will observe you by example. It is nothing that you say or preach to people. It's watching you. Oh, wow. How does Pisces do that? Oh, wow. And either people, it will click in their mind or it won't. There's nothing you can say. Okay? You keep living your life in a high vibrational way. Create the example. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. People are learning from you by watching you. Handle your own emotions, balancing your own emotions, even during this very volatile time that we find ourselves in. I'm not sure what's going on in other countries because I don't watch too much news. Um, but yeah, if you're from another place and, and you know, you can see the turmoil in your country, in the U.S., it's going to get really rocky got an election we have a lot of um, disagreements a lot of bullying happening so things are going to ugh, be shaky so if you're in another country feel free to share what's going on there that way we we know we're not alone right four of pentacles this is about realizing that we're all connected by a web of energy And we can provide stability for each other because we are connected. If you're on this channel, we're all connected. We're all doing our best to up, um, uplift humanity. Be an example for good, for positivity, to balance out all of this darkness. We have this darkness inside of us. We've been through difficult things but we don't allow it to keep us down, to push us low. It is constant effort. Temperance is here too, so knowing that you are guided by the universe, by the ancestors, by ascended masters, however it, it connects to you, God, the angels, It's about, wow, you know what? I feel it. Even if you don't understand it, you feel it. Okay? 1441. Know that you are protected. Yeah, the Hierophant here. What do you believe? Even if it doesn't match others, it's okay. 
It helps you connect with the divine. And that's the most important relationship is our personal relationship with that energy. Whether it's that big bang that, that sparked creation or a creator that did something or just energy that keeps being reborn, that's how you connect in with that energy that's inside of you and inside of each and every one of us. You know, if you think about the greeting, namaste, it's recognizing that energy within all sentient beings. Okay? Let's see what these are. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. So it's knowing that all of these difficulties, this fell out right on top of this Ten of Swords, knowing that all that's over. You're okay. You survived <laughs> the battle. Okay, you might have some bruises. Funny thing, I woke up with all these bruises around my waist and I sleep alone, okay? <laughs> so pay attention to your body. Any stiffness, things like that. It's energy moving out of you. Okay, so drink your water. Detox if you can. Um, rehydrate. You need that water to function well. Okay? And I'm talking about water. There's other liquids out there, but I'm talking about water. Okay? I know, Pisces. We, have our, we all have our things, right? I'm not here to make anyone feel bad, but, you know, try to drink some water. Okay. So it's like all of those hardships that you went through, were meant because that's what you did you elevated above all of these challenges you didn't allow those things to turn you into a bitter betty you still have love in your heart and that's what makes you this anomaly you don't like you don't look like what you've been through you don't act like what you've been through you've decided you've made this choice to be this loving person regardless. And that's how you win. That's how this dark energy can't hold you down because you don't allow it to. Everything that happens in our life, we're a part of that energy. Either we've called it in or we've allowed it to keep us down. It is our choice. With whatever that happens to us, we get to choose how we respond to it or not. That's a hard one because we've all been through horrific things in our childhood. And that's the thing. That's when we were disempowered. That's when we were reliant on other people. But now as an adult, how will you live? Okay? All right, so let's see what else we have here. We have also five of wands and the ten of wands. And this fell out here on this group of people that are trying to hold you back. It's this competitive, heavy energy. Let's put all these challenges on Pisces, on these star seeds, so that they don't shine their light, so that they hide, so that they don't positively impact the world so that they stay hidden and get consumed by this darkness. Mm-mm. Nope. And that's the work that you've been doing is you've been blocking all of this. You've been pushing back. You've been working on your mindset, your emotional state to just, okay, let's see, this too shall pass. This is just trying to stir the pot. I can see that. I'm not even going to, you know, look at it or acknowledge it. I'm going to positive reinforce positive energy in my life, which means I'm going to ignore negativity. I will not allow it to come into my energy. It's like training an animal. It's about positively reinforcing what is good and turning our back towards the negativity so that it, it can't influence 
We're not reinforcing negative behavior by giving it attention. Four of Swords, yeah, definitely, you know, take time to rest. If there's a situation in your life that's difficult, give it away. Give it to God. Give it to the universe. Look, the sun card, this keeps popping out or, you know, showing itself. That's what this energy wants you to do. Don't hold it. Just let it go. Okay, that it'll work out. The universe is going to work it out for me. My ancestors, God, the angels, my higher self. Anything else? No. What's at the bottom? The hanged one. Yep, again, this is another card of surrender. Ooh, I love this. Ace of Cups at the bottom. Focus on love. Focus on feeling good. 2121. Surrender everything else that doesn't feel that way. You know, pray for yourself. Pray for peace for yourself. Everyone else has to pray for themselves. Okay? Because everyone has to go through their own journey and sometimes it's not peaceful. That's how we learn, right? So pray for peace for yourself. Pray for your own protection. Write down the things that you want and need. Talk it out. Ask humbly, gratefully. Be thankful for what you do have. And then let the universe do its magic and bring in things to you. And with Leo season, Leo is the lion. Leo is about courage. It's about having a big heart. It's about putting yourself out there in a positive way. So you'll probably start to see 2222 that you are more forward facing in your community. People are coming to you because of this bravery that you have. Oh, look, and it looks like you're going to be calling in some kind of Two of Cups connection with an Earth sign. Air sign. We've got the King of Pentacles, King of Swords. So someone who is very intellectual, very steady financially, physically, energetically. And with the Empress card here is they're ready to give. So that means you get to receive. Okay, so if you're giving too much, you can't receive. You gotta set back and receive. Okay, so yeah, pay attention to who you meet because as you're living in this very high vibrational way, you're attracting in the same energy. Very high vibrational in their own way. It's not gonna be the same as yours but it'll be very high vibration. And that's what you need right now because whether it's a friend, three of cups, or a lover, the lovers, it's what you deserve right now. All right, Pisces. And with the judgment card here and the ace of wands, it's like, it's all based on your past actions and your present actions. This is what you're, you are, attracting in so if there is something that you don't like you cross that out oh sorry universe no actually no i don't want that nope sorry i was down a rabbit hole in my mind i nope don't want that it's that simple okay i actually want this which is the opposite think about oppositions if you're if you're in a darker space the, neg the negativity is opposed, diametrically opposed to positivity. So it's like, okay, nope, let's go to this side. And other people's viewpoints can get into your head and make you think that you're actually on the dark side when you're on the light side. So don't listen to other people. You know this because it's in your heart and it's shown here. With this Ace of Cups, you are pure. Do not let others 
make you second guess that purity that's inside of you. Okay. All right, Pisces, beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, enjoy the next few days and we'll see you soon. I love you.